be like to work in a place where you can look at art all day? Wouldn't it be fun meeting new people and talented artists as you attend opening receptions for different exhibits each month? What if this place was located along a scenic river that serves as a harbor for beautiful boats able to make their way out to Long Island Sound? Today's guest will talk about her new job and her interest in television production. The Humanities Mass Communication Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. Now join our host, Chris Olson, to meet the next new director. Thanks for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct three different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves, the productions they are working on, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is an NCC student in the film and TV production course, the mother of two teenage girls, and has a part-time position with Channel 79 in Darien. Recently, she landed a part-time job as a gallery director of a local art center. We would like you to meet today's guest, Deb Randall. As I mentioned, you recently started a, a new job as a gallery director. Uh, please tell us about the gallery, its location, and some of your responsibilities. Sure. The art gallery is located in a historic building in a small section of Norwalk called Verwaiten. It is situated on scenic Five Mile River, which flows into Long Island Sound. As you can see, not yet, <laughs> the beautiful boats are moored on the river, and I can view them from the back deck of the gallery. There they are. As I said, this, this river flows into Long Island Sound, so this is a great harbor for a lot of these boaters. A lot of them are residents of Rowayton. Uh, along the avenue, there are buildings which are homes to small businesses and some financial firms. Uh, this is footage of some of the watercolor paintings currently on exhibit. Um, I hope you enjoy this part of the footage. Let's take a look. Most of the artists in the gallery are Rowayton, from Rowayton, Darien, Norwalk, Stamford area, some from Reading. Uh, a lot of people come down from Ridgefield. They're kind of juried in as an exhibiting artist. And once that happens, then you can be in like 90% of the shows. Um, the gallery is also home to craft artists, and here are some of the works that's on display. Uh, Cecile Garver makes these pieces. Um, this is Pat Atkins' work. Those are little ring holders, teacups and saucers, and some jars with animal lids. Um, more uh, jewelry on display, and some napkin rings. And the jewelry coming up is made by my sister, and the gems that she uses are from all over the world. Okay. And you have to be a member in order to, to be able to exhibit a couple of these, um, these items. And we also sell picture postcards and note cards. And those are designed by our exhibiting artists as well. And people stop in and pick up postcards. And that's a view of the gallery when, as you walk in. And you can see straight back to the back deck. So it's kind of small. This is my favorite piece. This is a watercolor. These are sand dollars. And they're done on... Uh, paper bags, brown paper bags, shopping bags, and then glued on the, on the canvas. So Rowayton's a, a great place to visit in the summer, so if you find yourself in there, stop in and say hello. Um, could you tell us why you decided to take the TV production course? Um, sure, I took the course because I've always had an interest in television production, and I especially want to learn all the equipment in the control room. Um, again, I do um, volunteer at Channel 79 in Darien, so I want to become more proficient in the control room. Um, what would you say are some of the most useful things you learned in the TV production course? Uh, in the beginning of the course, we focused on basic camera uh, techniques, which included composition. 
So my photography, my camera shots have improved because of it. And including lots of details and paying attention to continuity really helped when I was shooting my uh, projects. Tell us about some of the things you created for the TV1 class, uh, the nature project, the sequence, and uh, where's my orange? Sure. Uh, my first clip is the nature project. And I began with, um, it starts out with a gorgeous amaryllis. And kind of gives you an example of two techniques, lines of emotion and what I call rule of thirds. Mm -hmm. Um, and next is a one shift focus where you change the objects that are in focus using a shallow depth of field. And this, this came out pretty good. That's a rose bush in my yard. And those oh, yeah, are the rose beautiful. hips. That was kind of fun to do. And uh, these geese kind of, they demonstrate proper framing. Uh, my kids especially like this part of it. And I wanted to show some uh, action scenes, so they were in there. And second's my sequence project, and here you have an over-the-shoulder shot of the talent taking one piece at a time out of the bag. And then I came around and I did a frontal shot of him realizing he had to leave, so I had him put everything back in the same sequence, um, and then I had him exit the um, camera view. I see you got to use Helio. He's Helio, such a wonderful yeah. actor. <laughs> Helio. And next is uh, Where's My Orange Project. This is my establishing shot. And uh, I kind of like this because of the waving flags, the stone wall, large tree off center, yellow banner, banner hanging vertically. Um, and next you see the orange appear in the elevator and then Helio finding it. Uh, so it's just roll, the, the orange just rolls into the elevator and Helio picks it up. Now he kind of comes out to try to figure out how did that get there, who did it belong to. And then he's psyched. You know, you got an orange and he's, he's all set. Hmm. Now, I know you have a project that you consider to be your best. Uh, why don't you tell us about that project? Uh, I gotta say it's the nature project. Um, I think that I shot some beautiful footage and was lucky in finding music that was compatible to it. Um, and I began, I began again on the rose hips um, from one of my rose bushes, so I'm able to shift focus to the branches and to the evergreens in the back. And next coming up is a friend's potted amaryllis, which we brought outside and we, we had placed it in the snow, and which gave it a really nice background. Um, it really showed the color of the plants, but it, there we go. Oh yeah, nice contrast. So having that white background really, really made it a, a nice uh, picture. And then I stayed with it to show uh, lines of joys and emotion and some framing techniques. And next up is a walkway, um, which shows lines of brace and, and really just the general use of lines. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a good example of it. And we're gonna see the geese again. And again, I, I wanted to get some action shots, something moving around, so um, I shot them. And that's it. So now that you've learned how to shoot and edit, uh, what would you like to create next? I really want to finish my campus story, <laughs> and I started, because I started that already, and I have a better insight to how scenes um, need to be shot, and I want to spend more time in the control room so I can become proficient. Today we got to meet someone who shared the surroundings and responsibilities of her new job as the gallery director for Rewaiten Art Center. As a new director, she hopes to apply what she has learned at NCC to her position at Channel 79, and to take better photographs with her new knowledge of composition. Perhaps a photograph of hers will be on exhibit at the gallery someday. We would like to thank Deb for joining us today. We hope you enjoy meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thanks and goodbye. This has been The New Directors, with your host, Chris Olson, directed by Eric Bousset. I'm your announcer, John Teeter. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.